Hi friends, welcome back to the Navigation YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, share, subscriptions. And yes, so as you had read today, we're going to talk about the effects of lockdown and school closure on children's well-being. So this is something that is unavoidable. We do understand that the safety of our kids are the priority. And that is the reason we have taken this chances of not opening schools and you know having a lockdown and all together. But at the end of the day, now it has been around three years that we are under the COVID scenario, under the pandemic. So in this aspect, if you see the most affected among all are the children. Why? Because they do not have their normal routine. They do not go to school regularly as they used to go. And they are stuck up at home due to the lockdown and the school closure. They do not have friends to talk with. They do not meet their friends. Even if it's a FaceTime, it's totally different from meeting your friend directly and talking to you. They are missing out on of the most beautiful years of their life inside their house. So this is something that we have to really, really worry about. The main thing that affects the children, let me put it into two parts. The physical effects that it has and the mental effect it has. Physical effects, there are no physical activity that happens at home for most of the kids. They remain stagnant at one place and additionally they tend to eat a lot because of the stress and depression that they have. And at the end of the day, they start gaining a lot of weight and lose their confidence. And the second thing, mental health, how the mental health is affected is, since they are not able to socialize with their friends, they are not able to meet others, especially single children are always having a difficulty because they get into depression, loneliness and anxiety to a greater, greater level. This in fact has affected them very, very, very badly. So how can we help the kids at home? How can we make a change? We cannot do anything with the pandemic. There are some things that are not in our hands that we cannot control. Yes, we understand that. We cannot allow them to go out freely and, you know, get affected with COVID also because their health is also a priority. But what can we do at home? The main and the only thing that you can do at home is a lot of physical activity, lot of home workouts and exercises at home will surely, surely help. The more physically active our kids are at home, the better they, are, they can perform in all aspects. It is highly essential to have physical activity running through our body in all the different ways, not just for your fitness, but also for your mental health. The more they're physical active, have a routine in a particular day where you as a family start doing a workout or an exercise or something that you enjoy doing physically or a game. Yes, our playgrounds are almost closed and kids have not been into playgrounds for so many years now. So this is something we have to really, really, really worry about. Yes, so my only suggestion to all of you is keep playing with your kids. Have fun with your kids. Let them have a lot of physical activity at home and less screen time, which can really, really so I hope that we reduce the screen time and have more physical activity with our kids so that our kids don't get affected physically and mentally during this pandemic. Wishing you all the very best from the Yangri's YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more. Until then, this is Yenagri signing off. Bye. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy both physically and mentally. See you again. Bye.